Hello guys, let's start with the discussion on the user defined data types in C++. Uh, these data types is uh, very much similar to the data types which is defined in C language but with the slightly difference means it is added some of the user defined data types. So we have uh, structure, classes, union and enumerated data types which is used in C++. In those data types structures also uh, is used in C language and unions is also used in C language with enumerated data types. So classes is newly introduced user defined type in C++. Otherwise structure, union and enumerations you already I think covered in C language. Let's start with the structure. So structure is a user defined data type, yes. Uh, we can combine various types of data in a structure. So, it a structure is a heterogeneous collection of a data. It consists of uh, uh, some uh, sort of some super data type uh, uh, because it will contain uh, various uh, data types together. Okay. In C++, we use a struct keyword to declare the structure followed by the structure variable or name of the structure. Now, uh, in order to use this, this structure, we need to define the instances of the structure and uh, we can have uh, different variables inside the structure which is called the members of the structure. Okay, So, structure contain members with different data types. This is the syntax of the structure. We use a struct keyword and write the struct name. It is any user defined name can be written here. Then start with the parenthesis. We use uh, uh, we declare different data types data type 1, 2, 3 with variable name member 1, member 2 and member n and then close the parenthesis and terminate with the semicolon. Okay, So this is the general uh, syntax of uh, structure declaration. For example, uh, I can define a structure of address. So address is a structure name and uh, the first three uh, attributes or members are characters uh, sorry first four members are characters and one member is of type integer okay and then we close the structure now if you want to uh, initialize or instantiate the structure variable then we need to write the variable name after the struct and structure name keyword so uh, declare uh, when you declare a structure you are defining an aggregate type not a variable so in this example a type is defined like integer it a type similarly a d d r is a type it is not a variable now like a is a variable integer a is a variable S uh, similarly we have to define the variable name here a d d r v1 v1 is a variable name so in this uh, uh, syntax only a type is defined a user defined type is defined and uh, uh, we can have multiple variables of this type in any program okay so here uh, uh, we can declare a structure variable using a structure type specifier so we can declare a variable like a struct addr that is a structure name and the type or variable name by which we have to access the members of the structure so this is also called the instance of the structure so we can declare a, a structure variable anywhere in the program and all we can also declare more than one instances of the structure we can have more than one instances like address info uh, one and we can have address info two variables so we can have multiple variables of this structure type okay now we can also define the structure variable after the curly braces and before the semicolon this is also right now initialization variable is declared like we write integer a so after variable is declared we have to initialize this variable so like initialization means if you want to put some values in this variable it is called initialization similarly if we want to put some var values in the members of the structure uh, uh, this this uh, this can be a uh, this can be a way of initializing but your C++ language does not allow you to initialize a structure at the time of declaration. You cannot initialize a structure at the time of 
declaration why you cannot initialize because uh, when you declare a structure memory is not allocated yet like when we declare integer memory is allocated because the compiler knows the size of integer variable it will allocate a uh, two byte memory uh, in the memory space and rename the address as a name a and then you can initialize the value in or at this address any value you can initialize but in case of a structure because the compiler does not know the exact size of this structure variable addr so uh, compiler did not know how much size is to be allocated so we have to explicitly tell the compiler that how much size is to be allocated and this is done by the malloc function so malloc is a function by which we have to s tell the compiler that how much byte should be allocated for this addr in the memory after the memory allocation is done then only we can initialize the values to the members of the structure at the time of declaration we cannot because there is no existence of this structure variable in the memory if there is no existence then how can you uh, store the values on uh, somewhere means the address is not there okay so now uh, yeah there is a another uh, way that uh, is dynamically dynamically allocate the memory uh, if you are not uh, want to use the malloc function then you can write the values at the time of variable initialization so uh, once the structure is defined and you are creating the member or you are creating a variable or instance of this structure addr then you can also initialize using the initializer list so if you write something uh, like this in the curly braces with the in the order of the variable names this is called the initializer list and these uh, the compiler will allocate the memory based on the size of the data types which contained in this initializer list for example if i make i if this is a character array of size uh, 25 so 25 bytes is allocated for this one similarly 30 bytes for this one and uh, 20 bytes for this one 10 bytes for this one and for integer it will take two or four bytes depending upon the compiler so this this much size the addition of these all uh, sizes is allocated in the memory for the variable addr info so this is a variable a d d r info and the size uh, of this block which is allocated in the memory is a summation of these variables like uh, 55 and 75 and uh, 85 and 2 that is 87 bytes is allocated okay so 87 bytes is allocated uh, and uh, the address of this allocated block is stored in this variable address info or we can say that we rename the memory location as address info and in at this memory location all this variable like amit is stored here gopal nagar is stored here jalandhar is stored here like this okay so this is how we can uh, uh, store all the values in a structure now so this this can be possible initialize list uh, can be possible you can initialize the structure now how to access the structure so for accessing the structure we use the dot operator uh, we can access individual variable uh, using the dot operator so this is the structure variable address in info and uh, we use this dot operator and can access the variable name is a variable of a character type and uh, i can uh, take the input of the variable using c in by this dot operator it should be input here and we can print the age like this okay now uh, how uh, we can make the array of a structure so uh, i think you have cleared about the structure definition declaration initialization and the um, accessing of the structure similarly uh, if you want to create a uh, array instead of individually defined different structure variable you, we can create a uh, array of similar variables so this is a syntax uh, you write uh, the array name uh, so this is a structure name 
and this is a array name variable address information and the size is 10 so means this is array of a structure will be created each element of this array will represent a structure of type addr and there are 0 to 9 such structure variables so this addr information 0 will point to a structure variable of type addr okay so there are 10 sets of such variables are defined once we write this line okay now similarly we can also define the pointers to a structure so if i write this is a structure and uh, star address info so this star address info will point to a location where a variable of addr structure type is stored okay now now if if we have a pointer variable and if we try to access the members which is stored on this location then we have to use the arrow symbol so like here address info is a pointer variable of type addr structure and we want to uh, refer a name member of this structure or we can or we can say that in this line we have to initialize a value in this structure then arrow operator is used instead of dot operator we have used arrow operator okay similarly we update the value of pin now next uh, user defined data type is union union is uh, uh, is a memory location that is shared by two or more different types of variable so union is also collection of uh, heterogeneous data types but here the memory location is shared among these data types so generally uh, once when we declare a union a memory space is occupied or memory space is allocated according to the maximum size data type in the members of a union so in general form we declare union union using a union syntax union keyword and uh, we have some user defined name uh, which refer to this union and some of the data types heterogeneous data types defined inside the body of a union now for example if uh, u type is a union name and uh, this it contains a integer and a character variable then uh, this is a this this is a type a new defined type called u type uh, like in structures we have we can declare different variables of this type or we can instantiate this union uh, by writing this statement like cnvt is an instance of u type union or cnvt is a variable of u type okay now because this cnvt contains integer and character both uh, and the memory should be shared so generally because integer take uh, higher memory uh, space so it will allocate this cnvt two bytes and these two bytes are shared by integer i and the character variable ch this is a memory map suppose we have two bytes 0 byte 0 and byte 1 then byte 0 may be uh, occupied by ch and byte 0 and 1 is occupied by uh, your uh, integer variable so we can at at any point in our, your, our program we can uh, refer to the data stored in cnvt as either integer or a character we can refer uh, either data so uh, similar like for example if i if i have to refer to the integer uh, variable or if i want to update the integer variable in my union then i can write cnvt dot i is equal to 10 that 10 is stored in the uh, two byte memory location which is allocated and if you want to print the cnvt of ch then the first uh, first eight byte of this uh, uh, first eight byte of this uh, 10 would be print uh, ASCII value of those 8 byte would be printed so means this uh, this can be uh, used in the bit manipulation operation where we want to access some of the bit of my uh, variable which is stored in the memory okay so union is very important when we use uh, uh, some cryptographic algorithm implementation like AES and DES so in those applications a union plays can play a important role now the most important user defined type which is uh, unique to the c++ language is classes we already have discussed the concept of class and object now in the implementation perspective class is very similar to the structure 
it combine different data types but it can have also the functions uh, that will work on those data type in in real world situation that function is called behavior of the class or behavior of the object now classes are generally treated as a template the memory is not allocated uh, like in a structure the memory is not allocated we just define a variable and uh, we just define a data type sorry okay so data type is only defined it is not uh, uh, the variable is not uh, uh, declared or variable is not uh, uh, defined or the memory to the variable is not allocated yet so we treat a class as a template and when we instantiate the classes we call those instances as object and uh, we have to allocate memory to those objects so class is a we can think class as a successor of a uh, structure and uh, the difference between these two are uh, in a structure all variables are by default public while in class all variables are by default private now the next type or data type is void data type so we can known this data type as a empty data type and we can use or you can see the impl implementation of void as a function return type maybe void function argument may be used as a void uh, and uh, we can use void pointer which can point to any kind of data so void data type is very much useful uh, in in these these type of scenarios when we require uh, that function does not return anything and the when we require that function does not uh, return any argument okay so uh, let's uh, so these are these are the user defined types mainly enumeration is also have been studied in c language so we are not here covering the enumeration data type next will be uh, the derived data type we will see the derived data type in the next subsequent lecture series so thank you very much for listening if you have any query any doubt or any suggestions regarding this lecture you can write down your comment in the comment section and if you want if you like this video then you can like it and share this video among your friends thank you